So we're back. I'm just going to show you my oil mix. This is a mix of olive oil, coconut, okay, and uh, vegetable oil. There we go. That's all you need. That's your other product. You can use just coconut oil. You can use just olive oil. You can use just vegetable oil. Or you can mix all three if you wish, okay? Don't go crazy with all millions of oils. This is all you need. Okay? It's all going to work. It'll find itself. It'll work itself. So it'll find how to make it work. It'll find its own flow, its own conditions. So... You're dealing with uh, plasma, so it knows everything already, so. Uh, okay, we got the cords, we got the magravs. Okay, so let's start. I got my capacitors. I mean, my aluminum foils for my capacitors. I will give the measurements again. Uh, these measurements, here's your, the foil I use is a standard, Standard aluminum foil, household aluminum foil. Standard size, okay? Nothing special. And the same as with the parchment paper. Your wives use this for cooking, baking. Here it is. Okay, so they're cheap. So those are the only ingredient tools. So our aluminum foil. I have it at 12, 12 inches or 30 centimeters by six and a half inch or 16 centimeters, okay? And then I fold it in half so I can wrap it around the, the parchment paper so I can get my quarter for my capacitor battery. Same goes with the parchment paper, parchment papers. 15 inch or 38 centimeters by six and a half inch by 16 centimeters, okay? I gave all the measurements exactly as on the blueprint. It takes away a lot of guesswork, so everything's really specific on the blueprints. It gives you everything, every measurement, every detail. Uh, we are finalizing it still for the coil. For making the coils, there's going to be many that don't know how to do this yet, but many of you already know how to do these. So, but we are going to create some uh, scriptural uh, writing how to build the coils, a magnetic and gravitational coil. So, now your other tool is you can grab a cube, a glass, ceramic, wood, plastic, we'll all do fine, okay? Acrylic. Can, will plastic glass? Pardon. Will plastic do? Because I was told plastic is not like a uh, like like a crystal. Where well, that's where you need glass, like crystal. Yeah, you can use plastic. No worry. Let the plasma deal with it. Don't worry. Don't get cut up on too much scientific stuff. It's irrelevant. Ma matter. Leave matter alone. Yeah. Just use the block. Yeah, just follow the directions and you'll have a working product. Uh, there has been some that did not follow the procedure and they had issues. So just warn you. I warned that in the day one from the beginning. So follow the diagram. Everything's written there. Don't stir off. If you want, you can stir off, but uh, don't expect, uh, you're going to expect what you're going to get. So I'm sharing it exactly to T what I've done, what we shared, what the plasma gave us to share to humanity, and that's all we're doing. So, later on you guys can play. Once you're connected, you'll understand. And then it's very, very flexible, so we are bringing more designs in, so there's gonna be many more designs. Uh, so yes, so this is a four inch, four inch by four inch cube. And it will fit my my 144 90 turn magnetic and gravitational coil. Okay, fits nice perfectly in. As you can see, we're taking this off from the Magrav system. 
and we're putting it right into the cube. Fits nice, compact, fits in my hand. See how tiny it is? No clutter, nice, cute. You can also put your finished product into another box or container if you want to pretty it up or enclose it, okay? I like them exposed, so. Yes, but not too big because you need about one inch uh, to activate the device, let's say, actually to, you know, when you're starting up, yes, to have... It will still activate, it'll activate even through the other set, yes. Where did you buy the cube? And what was it called in the store? Oh, the Q is a, uh, it's a, the dollar store. It was like $2.50. No, that's and, cheap. Uh, they're standard, I guess. Like I think they use these for pebbles, plants, or decorations, or candles. Flowers. Like that. Yeah, it's just a Q glass. No Thank lid. You. Thank you very much. You're very well. Thank you for asking now. And uh, what else do we have here? So I think I showed all the tools, correct? Is there anything missing? Does anybody? Yeah, we're, we're good. We'll go as we go, I guess. So we're going to need six capacitors, battery plasma capacitors for the cube, and one gravitational center coil, magnetic, okay? Mag gravitational magnetic coil. We're going to show the connections as well. Uh, let's do the connections here. Actually, we're going to make the capacitors. Let's make the capacitors live so we can get the mess out of the way. Then we'll strip the wires. We'll show you how to strip them. Uh, okay. So I have my container. I'm going to put everything down. We have our ash, ash and water mix. Uh, ash, you can use any type of ash, no animal ash, no vegetable oil from animals, everything, uh, everything but that. Uh, water, any type of fresh water. If you don't have distilled water, use tap water. If you don't have tap water, use uh, well water, spring water, mountain water, fresh lake water, no salt water, okay? So we're using four teaspoons, four, four full teaspoons for... Uh, one cup of water. Uh, measurements is 250 mils of water or eight ounce. In case uh, people need different measurements, different countries have different measurements. So four full teaspoons. So you guys know what a teaspoon is, right? Yes, it's a common measurement. Yeah. <laughs> four teaspoons full of of what? Ashes. Fire ash. ashes. Fired ashes. I use pellet, a wood pellet stove ashes. I also use mixed ashes that I burnt myself with uh, paper leaves. So any ash will do. Incense will do as well. You can use human bones if you want as well. If you have ashes from your, your grandparents, you can use that as well. So there's no wrong or right. Some can, people also add activated carbon. Yes, activated carbon, volcanic, volcanic. I guess in Italy, they're going to have lots of volcanic carbon, lava, ash there. Very powerful. Hey, hey, Pepe, should you talk about ash being part of the cycle of life? That's why it's better than using GANs, because it contains everything in it? Yeah, well, the ash has everything. Yes, the ash is, you're made up of ash, so when you use an ash, the plasma can give you everything you need through your body, through the connection. So it does, it, and when you give it the oil, it... Uh, manipulates all the ganses that come from the ashes to serve you and assist you to give you. That gives all the guesswork and all the labor for you to figure out how to work it when you allow the plasma to do its work. So that's why. So that's why you get the healing, you get the feeding, you get everything. You get the emotional healing, physicality, spiritual, everything. So... Thank you. That's that's why it's better than using the Ganses for the Magrove. That's that's the big. Yeah. Yep. Well, because you have to do a lot of guesswork with uh, a lot of chemistry, alchemy, background knowledge, and very stressful <laughs> frustration. We're trying to figure out which is the right one, which is better, what what combination we have to put it in, how many doses, because it's 
it's there's so many variables to it, right? It's uh, there is no one doing it. But when you just add the ash, you you get rid of everything. It does it for you. It has everything, literally everything. Yep. So, and, it's, you. And, and so when you have your spaceship, you know you have everything you need. Your shield with it, because you have the whole planet with you in your shield. And that's because you gave it to Ash. And it'll give you the proper the proper feeding. It'll change your organs in time for your teleportation, for your spaceship, for traveling. So that's the next step. No worry. Yeah, that's very key. Thank you for that. Because if you look at the circle of life and how animals and plants decompose into ash and go back into the ground, they have the highest source of carbon and feed the nitrogen and feed the whole cycle of Earth and the planet. And that's what you're tapping into. So thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you for bringing that question up. I appreciate that. Yes, don't need to die no more unless you choose to. The only reason we die is because we're programmed to die. It's a belief system. So I'm mixing all nice to ashes, just giving it some charge, some love. I got Francesca to charge it yesterday too, give us some lots of energy. I have the plasma intelligence all around me, helping me too, giving it lots of love based on my intentions. So remember, I have to give an order. So in that jar, have you mixed the oil with it? Uh, yes, you can, yes. Uh, yeah. Not necessary, okay? Just water and ash, and then you put your in, oil in at the end. Yeah, now. Yeah. Right. I've showed a couple videos, uh, actually three different videos, different ways. One with just water and ash, one with a little bit of mix of oil, okay? Right. There is absolutely no need to put the oil in it, okay? You put it at the end. You do have to put it at the end, though. Right. Once it's all done. So... So I will show. So we're going to build the capacitors here. So whoever's building, uh, here's my uh, copper, 14 gauge uh, copper wire. And as you can see, I turn them into themselves. What, what length is that? This is a copper 14 gauge. And the measurement is 28 centimeters long or 11 inches. Hey, Pe hey, Peppy, I just built, built 18 of them and I found 11 inches. I didn't have a lot of room on the end to twist them together. So um, I was maybe 12 or 13 inches might be better in length. What are your thoughts on it's that? Perfectly fine, yeah. I'm just giving the specific measurements based on uh, the aluminum cuts, uh, the parchment paper cuts. Uh, I'll show you right here, see? This is 11 inch. I'm going to put the, this a little bit further because it's too close to me. See how much space I have on the side? Okay. That's about an inch down, is it? Yeah, close to two inch on each side. Two it inch. gives me enough room to tie it in. So. Okay. All right, maybe I'll wait till you build one and then I'll ask those questions. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to make it longer, that's fine. You can make it 12 inch, you can make it 13 inch, no problem. There's no right or wrong. Just give it specific based on the design for people that just want to copy to T and don't know how to, don't know or understand the flexibility. Okay. You gotta get a bit of copper. And the aluminum goes right there, as you can see. See? So it's not half. It gives enough to wrap two, two turns on here, two separate battery turns, and then you got three on this side. One, two, three. And then you got one and two. Yeah. Okay? So I didn't do it half and half. I just gave it off a quarter off, just a quarter of the length. Because we're wrapping two two batteries here and three capacitors over here for your storage bank for the batteries and then feed itself. Makes sense. Here we go. Oh, paper towel. In case you need it. So mix in. We're going to pour it in.
Sorry to backtrack, Cathy. Pardon? Sorry to backtrack. I've got some copper in front of me. And that's about that's about A4 side paper. Is that right? Do you have some copper, you said? I've got some copper on it. I can't see your picture. Your, can you pin yourself so I can see? Just uh, left click on your name. If there's any Already pin. Yeah. Here, let me find you a second. I think the difference is uh, Pepe said a specific dimension and you are using a uh, common A4 letter size. Oh, is, is that okay for an A A4 size? Uh, is that the parchment page, the size for, is that how big you want to do it for? How big is your cube? Uh, how big do you want to make it? And how much wire do you want to consume? It's a four inch, four inch internal diameter cube. Yeah, I would just do 28, you can do, you can do one foot, 12 inches, 12 and, inches yeah. and do your parchment paper, half, the, uh, six inch, six and a half, seven inches, and that'll give you enough, a nice size to, uh, you, to fit on your cube so it's not super big, plus you'll save money on, on your materials by using this size, it's not too small, not too big. But if you prefer to do them big, by all means, you can. There's no right or wrong, but it's going to be big. You'll have, because uh, you'll have to connect them together, so they'll be out of the cube. Right. So I'll get a tape measurement on hand, and uh, measure your parchment paper so you can cut them. I didn't get the size of the parchment paper, sorry. I, will, I can repeat it right now. Yeah. So, so parchment paper, do you have inches or in the centimeters? How do you want it? Inches. Inches? Of. So parchment yeah. paper. Do you have this? Yeah. Box? Yeah. It's a standard size. Yeah. So we're using that as length. Mine is 15, 15 inches. Okay. Okay. And the cut I do, when I extend it out... That's so that's and I extend it out, watch this, yeah. from here to here is six and a half inches, so I cut, right. I cut down right here, right, right, and that gives me my length and my width, and the size fits perfectly internally on your four inch cube, so it's not hanging out and uh, it's nice and compact. Right. And plus, you save material too, because you're going to need a lot of this stuff. Which, right, and, and the well, aluminium. Can you want to make them big by all means, no problem. Can you recap on the size of the aluminium? Yes. I'll grab one too here. Same concept. I used existing standard size as length. Right. And I gave it six and a half inch. Right. And then I fold it in half. So it gives me a quarter of the, uh, the capacitor, not half of it. And half it. Because I'm going to put two, two coil turns on the aluminum for my battery, and then three are going to go on my parchment paper. Right. Okay. Which we will be showing right now, too. We'll be building yeah. some capacitors. Thank you. Uh, these are the size. Uh, yeah, there it is, too, as well. Perfect. Thank you, Nano, for showing that. Right. Here's the size of the capacitor, and watch the size of the glass. See, it fits nice, perfectly on there. Right. And then you have enough room to connect your wires in series if you have to from around. Okay. Yep. Now, if you make it super big, it's going to be right out here, right? Yeah, it's going to be overflowing. Yes. So. Yeah. You'll, you'll need a bigger cube. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah size doesn't matter on the plasma okay okay now let's uh, mix this again
Thank you for bringing those questions up. Uh, as we go, we're showing how to build them step by step and we can ask questions as we go. We're gonna plug and play with this, okay? We're gonna show all the hooking, the wiring, uh, the oiling, plug it into the wall, put loads on it, and away we go. And then we'll give it a nice kiss too, okay? I was gonna recommend people buy a, a kilometer they can put their cube into the kilometer and a kilometer is stuck into the wall socket. They can see, you know, what happened. It would start to drop the more load that put the see it start to drop immediately in front of their eye. So they need to see that. Uh, it, does everyone know, uh, you know, a kilometer? Yeah. Okay, get one cool. of that. And of course, I'll. Yes, sir. Just a quickie, I sent you an email. Can you respond to it? If you can. I'm just mixing some of the ashes stuck on the bottom. Well mixed hey, up. Hey Piffy, what are your thought of adding essential oils? You know, like Joy, uh, yeah. Rose. If that sort you of stuff? want, you can. The intentions on it, uh, uh, they do pick up the frequency of it. Yeah, some of those. Have, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I just didn't want everybody to get all confused with all these essential oils and going all crazy <laughs> and all that. So all you really need, you know, they laugh about it, but. All you need is oil, that's it. I asked Plasma Intelligent about, and they don't even don't recommend all this exotic oil because it causes more confusion. They only said two things, coconut milk, a coconut, I mean, coconut milk with vegetable oil, a coconut oil with olive oil, and that's all they say they need. The yeah. rest is just not even relevant, and they're going to create more confusion, and then people are going to get churned off, they can't find the right oil, and that would be a mess within itself, you know? Yeah. Okay. That's the reason why, yeah. Save your money. As you, can, as you can see, it's already spread it out. They're trying to find all these essential oils and just because I put frankincense oil there. <laughs> and that's uh, now everybody's trying to find so many and then it's already creating confusion. So all you need is just coconut oil. That's it. If you don't have coconut oil, use vegetable oil. If you don't have vegetable oils, use olive oil. Everybody has those three oils. At least they have olive oil and vegetable oil. They all have it. The wives cook with it. So go in the kitchen, find it. It's in the cupboard. Ask the wife. She'll, she'll hand it to you. Yeah, I use grapeseed oil and avocado oil. That's all we have. We don't yeah, use olive oil. Yeah, that was good. The, co good. the coconut oil does um, coagulate if it's not warmed up properly, like it sits at the bottom of the spray yeah. bottle. Yeah. I just heat it up in uh, some with the blow dryer or I put it in the sun. Okay, good idea. But when I mix it with olive oil, it keeps it liquid, as you can see. Okay, good. See, there's no, it helps to keep it soft. But sometimes it goes hard underneath. I just put it in the sun. So you can use coconut milk, right? That's liquidy. It won't dense. Yes, coconut milk with vegetable oil. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good tips. Thanks. Yeah. I use this is my second type of coconut. One was liquidy white and this one's like a cream, like almost like a butter. So I I don't know. I use whatever I have. I'm not attached to nothing. I know it works, so I just listen to what they give and away we go. I have the other oils, so if I do have them, I just add them, but I don't need to. I've done builds without the oils, just the one oil, like a, a coconut oil, that's it. So. Yeah, have you noticed the absorption on the parchment paper differences with adding oils versus not? I just had a question on that because it, it makes I, it easier to roll. 
Yes, I do. I, when I put a little bit of oil, it allows me to, it gives the right amount of consistency sticking on for me to roll on the parchment paper. So, because it does hold it well on it. So, but once you dip it in the water ash, it's, it's water, it's already nano coated. So, it's just for ease for rolling on based on my hands and fingers. <laughs> Uh, sometimes, sometimes I have to use the tape. I put tape, I tape it around my finger, and then I put the gloves on and it grips it nice. It's like it creates grips. Because my fingers are, my skin is very smooth. All right, I'll wait and see because I had problems with the gloves. I keep catching on the copper and I just took them off and used bad hands. Yeah, yeah so if you put the uh, tape on, uh, tape on your finger, then put the gloves, then you'll be able, you'll see, you'll have a nice grip to it. Thanks. But use your hands, it's fine. <laughs> it's just water and ash, it's good for you. It will heal you all up. Pepe, yeah. but before we will disconnect in two minutes, uh, what tools I will need apart from the enclosure, butt cups, uh, coils, I will need only glue gun actually, yes? That's yeah. it. You'll need a glue gun. And I got it. You'll need some. Uh, yeah, I've got plenty. I've got 100 or 200. Or... Gun. Uh, you'll need a power cord. I've got a power cord. Uh, some extra wires to connect to it. No problem. And uh, uh, also a kilometer watt. Uh, a a kilowatt. Watt. So you yeah, can... tomorrow. And a, the brush, okay. A brush or. A uh, spray bottle. A spray bottle, okay. I use a spray bottle. Uh, John yesterday was showing me they bought uh, coconut spray oil, like, uh, you know, pan oil that you spray on your pan when you're Hi. cooking, non-sticking. He found coconut, he just sprayed it all on that too. So I didn't know they existed like that, but it had coconut oil. So I don't know how coconut oil stays soft. I'm gonna milk. I don't have a coconut oil unfortunately here so I will okay. mix it up with some olive oil or whatever you know. Perfect. Olive oil is perfectly fine yeah. Vegetable oil too if you want. And uh, coconut milk and that's it. Yeah yeah you can use coconut milk yeah. Anything coconut. Oh there's the spray. <laughs> fine. That's like oh. I won't go to America to get one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you're gonna have to teleport now. No, not yet. I don't have cube. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to start building now. Uh, I'm waiting on you. You're doing bat caps. I got them. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you'll need a uh, uh, wire snips, possibly pliers for bending. I got it. Now uh, this I use for cutting. I got pliers. That's fine. Pliers, yeah. I have also a different one too, but I don't know where it is. I'll find it anyway. I use that for 